If you're an online course creator and you haven't started a YouTube channel, you might be missing out big time on one of the greatest opportunities available for teachers who want to build a community around what they teach. Today, we're going to address the reasons you might be hesitating to get started with YouTube and talk about why you should jump in ASAP. Let's get into it. Hello creators, I'm Ben Tolson from Podia, where we empower creators like you to make a living doing what you love. Today's video is special because joining me today is YouTube coach and vlogger, Heather Ramirez. Heather, thank you so much for joining me. Will you share a bit more about who you are and what you do? Thanks, Ben. Hey everyone, my name is Heather and I've been on YouTube since April of 2016. I had just quit my job and I decided that I would give myself the chance to start my own business. And because I didn't know anything about how to do that, I figured that that would be a cool story to document on YouTube because why not? Now, YouTube is the foundation for my business. I make a living doing what I love. I have a global reach, which is something I never imagined having. And all of my clients and customers come from YouTube. My mission is to educate and empower people to share their stories and build their brands on YouTube because I believe that everyone has a story worth sharing. So I'm excited to be here. Thanks, Heather. In this video, Heather and I are going to go over five reasons you haven't gotten started with your YouTube channel and five reasons you absolutely should. You ready, Heather? Always. Awesome. There could be numerous reasons you haven't started a YouTube channel yet, but we're going to cover some of the most common obstacles and how to overcome them. Reason number one is I'm not sure what to share in my videos. This is a common dilemma. Even people who regularly share content spend an average of eight to 10 hours per month staring at a blank page. That's not a real statistic, but it feels like it could be. The point is, you're not alone. But here are a few ideas for what you could share. You could preview some of your course content. Even though you ultimately plan to sell your course, you could share a few valuable insights that would tease your course content. Do a walkthrough of tools you offer with your course, like guides or checklists. If you're still in the process of making your course, share some of the work you do behind the scenes to create the material. You can also share some of your personal thoughts or ideas related to your course content or some of the stories or experiences that led you to making your course in the first place. These are just a few ideas, but hopefully it's enough to help you get the ball rolling. Reason number two, it's too late to start a YouTube channel. There are hundreds of hours of content being uploaded to YouTube every single minute, which can make it feel like it's too late to start a YouTube channel, but your potential viewers don't have to go through all of the existing content on YouTube until they get to your channel. It's not about competition. Because YouTube is a search engine, its algorithm is constantly learning how it can best deliver the most relevant content to its viewers. So even though there may be several existing channels in your industry, no one else has your perspective, your experience, and your approach. This means that there's more opportunity for you to stand out by creating the platform for a specific group of people with a specific need. You don't need millions of subscribers to see success on YouTube. As long as your channel has a clear value proposition for a target audience, YouTube will take care of the rest and getting your content in front of the right people who genuinely want to learn from you. Reason number three is I don't have the right equipment. One of the lies we buy into as creators is I'm not going to be good enough until I have that camera or those paintbrushes or this microphone. The tools can make a difference in overall quality, but the most important thing you have as a creator is yourself. Your knowledge, your experience, and especially your voice can't be replicated. Look around at what you have and be honest with yourself. Can you create a good quality video with what you already have or have access to? Spoiler, if you have a smartphone, the answer is absolutely yes. People care more about the result you can create for them than they do the quality. Before you spend money on expensive gear, Get comfortable making things consistently with what you have. Not only will you improve faster as a presenter, but you'll also bring more skills to the table when you do upgrade. Reason number four, I'm not tech savvy or I've never made a video before. I think when people are first considering YouTube, they get overwhelmed because they think they need to make what looks like traditional marketing videos. Those videos took a lot of people, a lot of budget, and probably really expensive equipment to make. 
But those traditional marketing videos focused on one-way communication. So a business owner would talk to a target audience about their product or their service. With YouTube, it's completely different because a signature aspect of YouTube videos is two-way communication. It's less about trying to make a perfect video and more about having a dialogue with your audience. You can actually interact with your audience by posing questions in your videos and getting the answers in the comments section. At the end of the day, that's what YouTube is all about. Conversation, communication, and connection. So don't worry if you've never made a YouTube video before. Just focus on talking with your audience and not at them. I built my vlog channel using iMovie, which is a free editing program, an old point and shoot that just happened to be lying around, which is actually right here on this shelf. And also, I think it was my iPhone 6 at the time. I didn't have a budget to upgrade equipment, so that wasn't even an option. Instead, I focused on really listening to my audience, trying to understand who they were and why they were following me, and coming up with ideas to see how I can better serve them and show them that I care. All of which require no tech savviness at all. Tech savvy. Tech savvy at all. <laughs> Today, there are plenty of free or low cost tools, apps, softwares, and programs, all of which are designed to help you use video as a medium to connect and communicate with your audience. Reason number five is, I don't wanna give away too much of the material. It's a reasonable fear. If you give away what's in the course, no one's going to buy it, right? So yeah, you don't wanna give everything away. But what if you gave away your best 10%? Isn't that backwards? Shouldn't I save the best for my course? No, and here's why. People will perceive the quality of what's in your course based on the quality of what they experience before they buy. If you give away your best 10%, people will assume that what's inside the course has to be amazing. Not only that, but when they do buy, they're more likely to have an amazing experience because perception shapes experience. The reverse is also true. If what you gave away was just okay, customers are more likely to have a just okay experience. Now let's talk about the benefits of having a YouTube channel and why you should get started on YouTube. First, three words, free organic traffic. Because YouTube is a search engine, viewers on YouTube tend to be more active because they're watching content that they've actually searched for. On the other hand, viewers on social media platforms tend to be more passive because they're watching whatever videos just happen to be on their feeds whenever they log in. This means that there are users on YouTube who are already searching for your content, and YouTube has a vested interest in delivering that content to the right users. So to cut through on YouTube and get free organic traffic, all you need to know are these three things. Who is your target audience? What are they searching for? And in what context? And then create content around that. Then you can optimize your videos by doing things like utilizing effective tags, and that'll help YouTube serve your content to your target audience. If you do this right, then your viewers will have on-demand accessibility to your brand, which means that your videos have the potential to be discovered and watched by your target audience for as long as they are on your channel. I have videos that continue to be discovered by new viewers every single day, even though I uploaded them over three years ago. The second reason you should get started is because you can get feedback from real people. As your audience grows, you can ask specific questions and get real feedback about what people really want to learn from you. This can be huge when it comes to course sales because it helps you get more specific. Say you wanted to teach a course about competitive horseback riding, but the more you interact with people, the more you realize there's a really high demand for information about how to prepare your horse for a competition. You were already going to cover that in your course, but now you realize you can go deeper into that specific topic and get a lot more students. You can even use your audience to test early versions of your course and see if there are things you can tweak to make it even more effective. Reason number three for getting started on YouTube is that YouTube is a great way to cultivate your audience. Nothing will compare to in-person interaction, but video is the closest that we can get. Yes, it is an investment to create and upload YouTube videos, but once your videos are up on your channel, you basically allow viewers to connect with you, learn from you, and achieve wins because of you for as long as your videos are on your channel. This is why YouTube can be such a powerful platform for building trust with your audience. It takes several touch points to cultivate someone into being in the mindset of buying from you, but each one of your YouTube videos can serve as a separate touch point. 
And the more content that you have up on your channel, the more opportunities that people have to spend time with you. The fourth reason you should get started is to build your presentation skills. If you plan to deliver your course on camera, you can use your YouTube channel as a place to hone your skills. Producing regular video content will help you get more comfortable with every part of the process, from writing and presenting, to editing and publishing, so that when the time comes to make your course videos, you'll already have it down. Also, all of that practice is going to help you feel more natural in front of the camera. This will make you seem more confident and authentic to your students and improve their learning experience. And lastly, YouTube builds your brand authority. Video is a great way to demonstrate your competency and to showcase your expertise and your passion for your subject area. Also, because of the dialogue that you're having with your audience and the feedback that you're receiving, you can source future content ideas from comments made on previous videos. Not only does this allow you to be relevant and active, but you also delight your viewers because they start to feel like you're making content specifically for them. It shows that you truly understand them on a genuine level, and that is a great reflection of your brand overall. Sure, a high subscriber count can convey brand authority, but more often than not, it's the value and the relevance of the content that really matters. So if I'm searching for a video about how to unclog a drain, I don't care who that video comes from and how many subscribers they have. I just want my problem solved. Valuable content and consistent branding can convey your channel's authority, even if you're just starting out. To be honest, making consistent video content is not easy. We wanted to finish this video by taking a quick moment to get real with you about obstacles that we've had to overcome to get started with our channels. One of the things I struggle with the most is just being consistent with making videos. If you look at my personal YouTube channel, you see that I'll have stretches where I've made several videos in a row and then took three months off or five months off or a year. What I learned about myself, especially when it came to producing regular video content, is that I work well under a deadline. Before I had a deadline, I just thought it was, oh, I'll, I'll produce when I feel like it or I'll create when I feel like it. And the problem with that is you're not always going to feel like it. If you're like me and you struggle with being consistent, set a schedule for yourself and build some accountability around yourself so that you can stay consistent even when you don't feel the inspiration. I think the biggest thing that I had overcome on my YouTube journey was this feeling of not being good enough to have a YouTube channel or grow an audience. When I started, I didn't tell my friends and family because I didn't want to hear the whole like, so you're trying to be a YouTuber now? I had no idea that YouTube would end up becoming the foundation of my business. So I think what helped me keep going was that I didn't have anything to lose. But still, it was such a slow process and the doubt would creep up every single time I tried to pick up the camera. And that also perpetuated these other excuses of like, I don't have the time, I don't have the right equipment, I, you know, I'm camera shy, I don't know what to make content about, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I had no idea, no concept of the potential and the opportunities that would come along with having a YouTube brand presence. Because if I had known, gosh, I would have started so much earlier and I would have never second guessed myself for a second. So if you needed to hear this today, I'm here to tell you that you have a story worth sharing. And if you're truly passionate about helping your audience achieve their goals through your content and your courses, then that is worth their investment of time and money. Don't ever second guess yourself and just create more. What are some obstacles that you're trying to overcome or what are some things that are holding you back? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching everyone. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let us know what you think in the comments and we'll catch you guys later. If you found this video helpful and you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure not to miss anything when we post new videos. If you're trying to get started with YouTube, you should definitely check out Heather's channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.